Hi, this video will show you how to add and use the gallery feature as a layout option for your exhibit. We'll talk about how to add and organize items in the gallery and how to add captions. If you have a lot of images on a topic, the gallery feature may be a good option to use to display these images. To add a gallery, navigate to the page you want to edit or create a new page. Under Select Layout, click on Gallery. Then a green button to add new content block will appear under the Select Layout box. You'll want to click this button to confirm that you want to add the new content block to your page. A new content block will appear allowing you to create your gallery. If you have already worked with adding a file with text content block, then this may look pretty familiar. Within this content block, you can write text in the bottom to describe the contents of your gallery. This is optional though. Then you can add the files of your choice by clicking on the Add Item button. For more information on the features of adding text, view the tutorial on adding text blocks. For more information on how to add files to your exhibit, view the File with Text tutorials. There are other ways to add text to your gallery without using the text field in your gallery content block. For example, instead of including the text within the gallery content block, which may look like this with a lot of blank space, you can add a text content block above or below your image gallery, resulting in an arrangement like this. If you have multiple images on different topics, you can have more than one gallery content block on one page. Then group the images together for each topic. To change the orientation of the text and files in your gallery, select Layout Options from the bottom of the Gallery Content Block, and a menu of options will drop down. The Showcase File option allows you to select one image to appear larger than your other images, as well as to position the showcase image on either the left or the right side of your other images in your gallery. This option works especially well if you're using five images. The showcase file will be the image you have included first in your gallery. If you'd like to change which image is the showcase image, simply drag and drop it in place as the first image. Select the No Showcase file to have all the images appear as the same size. You can reorder the images by dragging and dropping them in your preferred order. With the Gallery Position option, you can select which side the non-showcase files will appear. Best practice is to select the opposite side from your showcase file position. Gallery file size allows you to select sizing options for your image. If you want your images to appear uniform in size, select square thumbnail, and if you want all of your images to appear uncropped, select thumbnail. The captions position option is just that. It allows you to set the position of your captions. Best practice is to use the center option. And remember to always click Save Changes before you navigate away from the current page you're working on or you will lose all your recent unsaved changes. A good habit is to just click Save Changes often. To see how your edits will appear in your exhibit, select View Public Page. And remember, if you have any questions, always contact the library.